What is going on YouTube? In this video, I'm at the fish shop and I'm going to go and buy some new fish for my aquarium. This place is where I've had all of my fish from in the past. One of my favourite fish shops ever, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to look, bro look at the cichlids and I'll get a load of them. So I've arrived in the fish shop. Everything is here. They've got a massive selection. It's awesome. The salt water is my favourite and one day I do plan on getting salt water stuff. But not yet. I need to head down to the cichlids, but first I'm going to browse the aisles and look at all the other fish. I'm just looking about at some of these fish and they're all awesome. All the salt, not all the salt water, the, tro the tropical stuff. The tropical stuff's my favourite. Like the, the colours anyway, but the salt water's also my favourite. I love the, I love both. Well, look at these little sharks, the ruby sharks, I think they are. Yeah, that's kind. And then all these and everything. I used to have a massive tank full of them all. I had platies, guppies, everything. I had a load of selection of them, but I got they all died eventually. I also had goldfish, and I've got goldfish in the garden as well. They're cool there. Well, guys, I'm down the cichlid aisle now, and look at all these. They're, they're beautiful. Cichlids are my favourite, like, tropical fish. They're amazing. There's just... Look at all them. I mean, there's tons. I need to find the perfect ones for me though. I'm only looking at getting some smaller ones today because my tank's not the biggest as you've seen in my other videos. But I do intend on getting a bigger, like a 160 gallon one eventually. But that'll be in a couple of months. In fact, I've already got a Demasani cichlid in my tank. I've got one of them already. I think I've got a couple of them, the Mabunas. But yeah, there's a nice little variety tank of them down here as well. Guys, look at these, there's some massive goldfish in here. Whoa, well, let me take the smaller ones, ready? They're over here. Look at these, they're all caught too, you know. That's mental, they must think I've got some sort of food. I could literally pick one up. Look at that. And the big display tanks they've got in here are amazing too. They've got a big freshwater one. This one over here, stingrays and stuff, piranhas. And they've got a huge reef tank, which I'll show you in a second. Look at this reef tank, it's beautiful. Look at these, they're like pretty much see-through fish, they're really cool. I found another little selection of cichlids and these are beautiful. I think I might have to get one of these. Look at them. Man, these ruby sharks are absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if they can live with cichlids or not, but if they did, I'll be getting some. Look at these little fish again, they crap me up, they just jump at you. <laughs> they're crazy. Okay, I've been here a while now and I've actually got to decide what fish I'm going to get. I think I might get one or two of these because these are actually quite nice. They look dull on camera, but when they grow, they get like rainbow sort of colours. They're beautiful. Look at him. He's nice. Guys, I've just spotted these over here. Look at these little cichlids. Look at how small they are. I've never seen a baby cichlid before. They're quite cool. But cichlids are known to breed. That, I want to get quite a few of them so I can eventually breed them. Is that a snake in there? Hmm. No, it is as well. Loaches, that's what they are, I think. A reed fish, correct me, not a loach. And then there's a jaguar cichlid in there, and he's stunning. He's at, he's at the back somewhere. The cool cichlids I saw over here, the um, the red lined wall cichlids, they're a bit expensive for me, so I'm gonna ditch them for today, but maybe in a future video. I really wish cichlids could live with platies though. Platies and mollies, I love them. That They're my first like sort of tropical fish I had, and they're bred, and I love them. I was looking around the other side, not the cichlid section, but I found these albino ones and they're actually really nice, so I think I'm going to get one of them or maybe two. Guys, not today, but look at, oh he's ran off when I say, but look at them, they're beautiful, them cichlids are. I need to get one of them in the future, they're hot, their colours pop, I'll see if I can wait and get another clip. They've all dulled off a bit, they've got a bit scared, but they're beautiful. I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to ask the shopkeeper what she thinks about me getting one of these, with the, the ruby sharks with the cichlids. But I'm definitely going to go with one of them albino ones. And then the two round there. I'm going to go and buy these fish now. I'll see you in the car. Before I left, the ladies convinced me and I'm going to get a pair of these. All the fish are in the bag and secured. I'll show you them all in the car, but I've got some beautiful ones. Right, I've got three bags worth of fish here. In the first one, we've got the albino ruby shark and he's beautiful. His colours aren't as popping as there was in the shop, but you'll see them later on in the video. The second bag, I got. What well, I only got one of these in the end. I got one lavender and boona, and he's quite cool actually. Then the best till last, I got a breeding pair, a 
of these two. I, I cannot remember the name for the life of me, but there's a male and female. They're a breeding pair. They were 20 pounds, but well worth it. You cannot see them in the bag to hide them. I'll show you them when I'm back though. You'll get a lot of better footage of them later. They're all back in their bags down there. I'll close them up so they feel a lot less stressed out. And um, I'll, see, I'll see you when I'm back at home. And um, yeah, see you in a bit. I've arrived back home now with the fish. I'm about to go into my room and I'm gonna give my tank a quick clean. As you can see, it's a bit green at the moment and I've got the three Mbunas in there and not the, the two Mbunas and the other one, I forgot. But I'm gonna be leaving these in the bag just to keep them as calm as I can until I release them. But I will get some good release shots to so make sure you stick around until I, I actually release them. But for now, I've got my bucket. I'm gonna scrub the glass on this thing shuffle the rocks about, siphon everything out, do a water change and get it clean and ready for the new fish and just clean for these so I'll see you in about, well it'll take me about half an hour to clean it but I'll see you in just a second. About half an hour later, I've finished cleaning it. Now I am going to wait until the water murks down a lot but I've done a new scape on it. I've put some slate rocks in at the back and you can't see because of the glare at the moment but if I come from this angle, you still can't really see but it looks a lot better. Now I've done this for a new aquascape, just to, for me to enjoy because it looks a lot nicer and for the fish to enjoy because that cichlids, they love hiding holes and there's a lot of caves back there now so they'll be enjoying that. Here is the three bags of fish. You still can't really see them two cichlids but they are absolutely beautiful. And then in the middle one is the lavender mumbuna and this one's obviously the ruby shark. Here we go guys, I've got all the bags and I'm going to get them in acclimating right now. Just one last shot of them. It's really glary, but they're all in there. See if we can get them to swim out. They're beautiful. In goes the first bag of fish. Let them sit in there for about 15 minutes or so and they'll acclimate and then I'll release them. And I'll do the same with these pair. The tank's almost overflowed, but all the bags are in. The tank looks awfully green at the moment, but that's because the light is projecting on the green plants at the back. So it's making the whole tank look green, but trust me, it's not green. But I've got the net ready for when, I think the time has got three minutes left. So in three minutes, but one second for you, I'll release them. The time has finally just gone off. So you know what that means. I can now get to cutting these bags open and releasing these bad boys. First off, I've got the lavender cichlid. Here he is in my hand. He's absolutely beautiful, but before he flips away, let's get him in. Here he goes. He's the more dull one but he's actually quite nice. Next up I've got the albino red fin shark. Off that goes. He's a bit more timid, he's just had a little bit of a rough time getting out of that bag. But um, he's cool. I'll get more footage of these fish in there later by the way guys. But look, he's out already. Um, next up is the breeding pair, my favourite. Here are these pair. I'll get them in my hand and show you them, but they're absolutely stunning. That one there's the female, that one there's the male. Here they are guys. You can see they've got like a peacock tail thing. Sort of like a peacock bass, but cichlid form. Cute little couple there. So let's put them pair straight in. And off they trot. They're the two bigger ones, the more exciting ones. And they're lovely. There they go. There's the new one. There's another new one. They're all getting to know each other. The fish I've got already don't seem to be bothering them. So this is great. The tank's still very murky at the moment. So I'm going to switch the light off. And I'll let it set for an hour or two and I'll come back and I'll show you guys and I'll feed them. The light is off and you can sort of see the male. He's beautiful. The ruby shark has come out. He's absolutely stunning. And there's the other one. There's the male. They're... I'm so glad with these fish. I know I said I'd be back later with the lights like on and it's the tank clearer. But I'm just trying to get some pickup footage for you guys. The fish are settling in amazing. There's the lavender one. There's the ruby shark, and then the other two tend to be around the back here. They like hanging around. They're at the back there, behind the um, behind the big rocks of slate. They're really cool. I'm just putting it out there. I know this tank is not exactly the biggest for these fish. It, it, it can happily hold them though, and I, with the way I clean it, I clean it every two weeks. But um, I will be getting a bigger tank. I, I've said in other videos, and I'm saying it again. I'm going to be getting a big log, like, 100, 160 odd gallon tank within the next half a year I'd say so make sure you guys are stay tuned for that video obviously I'll you'll see it when it's out but um for now this is my tank I've added new scapes for the fish to enjoy because cichlids like
caves and yeah it's looking amazing so for now i actually will see you when i'm doing the feeding so goodbye for now the tank's cleared up a bit i've switched to my phone camera because it's actually a lot better to get footage of the fish with but it's cleared up quite a bit not as much as i'd like it to but i think i'm going to clear it up let it clear up a little bit longer but i'll try and get some footage of the fish again because i really want to get good quality videos of them there's the one you can see their colors so much better on this it's stunning right i've switched to my phone camera because it's a lot better when filming the tank you can zoom in as well and it's just a lot better quality than the gopro when it's a lot of glare and everything but the tank as you see it, it's a, it looks clearer in person, but it's a lot clearer. So there's there's the shark, he's out and swimming. And all the others are finding their little hidey holes at the back. There's one. But I think it's about time I put some food in. I'm gonna put a couple of pinches of this one in first. Like the fish usually come straight up to the screen when they see it. And obviously I'll put some blood worms in afterwards. I've got the cubes of blood worms here now as well. Obviously I usually put one in, but because I've got a lot more fish now actually, I'll use two. I think this tank's about to get fed. Put in a pinch of the flakes, as you can see, it's all on my fingers. Only the three fish that are usually in here have gone for it as of yet. I don't think the others know that they're being fed. They're all down there, as you can see. Just plopped in the two cubes of blood worms. There's one there and one there. They'll dissolve eventually and sink to the bottom. And we'll eat them. They're all down there coming out. The, the female and the male are there. They're so beautiful. They're a breeding couple that I haven't mentioned as well, so there's the lavender one, there's that one. One of the cichlids, I've noticed it, oh, he's eating some apparently. Sorry guys, I thought the feeding would be a lot better, but um, apparently not. As you guys saw, I got a lot of new fish today and they're all doing amazing. That's where the shark likes to hang out, underneath that little dragon pumice stone thing. Here we go, one of the fish are coming out, oh, he's trying to assert dominance there. But yeah, they've all, they're all found the little hidey holes. There's the male at the back. It's doing great. There's that sinking. But guys, with all the fish fed and the fish in their actual tank now, I think that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, we had a nice little time at the fish shop before buying the fish for this. I had a look around and found some awesome fish in there. Some fish that I definitely want to get in the future. But um, yeah, and as I mentioned, I'm definitely planning on getting a saltwater tank. So hopefully I get that. But if you guys enjoyed, smash the thumbs up button down below, just leave a like. Whilst you're down there, subscribe to my channel, you might as well. Uh, click the description whilst you're down there and become a member of my channel if you'd like to do that. Please do, it'll help out a lot. Uh, fund the projects and the videos like this. And um, yeah, turn on the post notifications, check out some of the videos on the screen here. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace for now.